at this carrot. I'm like a little scared to eat it, but oh. about 4 p.m. and I decided I'm going to vlog for like today and tomorrow and maybe the next few days I don't know so basically I don't know if you can hear my voice because I've been like my voice has been like cutting in and out I got tested for COVID just now I just got back from taking the test so obviously waiting to get the results back I was supposed to go to work today but not the safest if I think I have COVID <coughs> While I wait for my results, I mean, I'm gonna make some soup right now, but I figured I could do like a little day in my life, multiple days in my life, or like a little vlog of me with COVID. So I did have a sore throat a little bit last week, but I thought it was just like lack of sleep because that's like all I had, that was the only symptom. And normally that happens like in the morning or night if I like am really sleep deprived and like it wasn't hurting at all in the day. So I was like, whatever. A lot of people that I work with started testing positive and I just like knew a lot of people getting it who I was in contact with. So I was like, now that I'm actually like sick, like i have to have it luckily thankfully i feel totally fine energy wise i'm good while i wait for my results that hopefully will come back tomorrow i just thought i would vlog a little of what it's like to be stranded at home because you know if you didn't know this about me i'm a very movement like to do a lot of things person so being at home is gonna be really hard for me. So I'm gonna make myself some soup. I have all these extra vegetables from the New Year's party. I'm thinking of just like making like a broccoli cauliflower soup because this is basically broccoli cauliflower. This is broccoli cauliflower. And I'm just gonna put it in a pot with veggie broth and then blend the whole thing. Like let it cook for a while and then just blend it and make like a pureed soup. Like that seems decently good, I guess. Also, want a snack, favorite snack. There are a couple good things about this though. Like I have a lot of food things that I want to film, like recipes. So since I'm trapped inside, I have all the time in the world to make them. Okay, so this is like broccoli cauliflower and then a couple carrots. So I'll just throw those in too, like that's fine. Perfect. Love veggie broth so much. Like not, like I don't eat it that often, but. <laughs> I think I'm gonna go on a walk and then come back and make some soup, I guess. I'm on my walk and like someone is cooking right now. It literally smells so good. So whoever's cooking, like invite me over, just like bring some to my house so I don't have to come in. You can see obviously behind me, but I'm trying to walk like higher up so we can have a better view. Actually stunning. Like this is stunning. You can see the ocean. And then I'm just gonna keep walking up. But it's just so pretty tonight. I'm obsessed with walks. Like there's the most like rewarding and like relaxing thing ever. Also like sorry about my hair. Look how pretty, like look at the moon. It's so pretty and like, ugh, I just love the world. <laughs> I'm so weird, but like, I'm sorry. Like it's just so peaceful. So yeah, I'll catch you guys back at home. I'm gonna start heading back now. This has honestly been kind of fun to make. I just don't know if it's going to taste good, obviously. I don't see why not. Like, it's all, it's, I mean, I'm not a huge cauliflower person, honestly, but like, it's cauliflower broccoli. So I don't even think you would look really like taste the cauliflower. And then like, there's a few carrots in here, just like two baby carrots. Basically. If you have vegetables that you're scared are gonna go bad, like turning it into soup is such a good way to use them. Like seriously, even if you're not sick. I wish I had one of those like pulse things to blend, but I don't. So we are going to fill this up in my 
future bullet, which isn't even that big. So I might have to do like two rounds, which is fine. My dad just got home from working out and he bought me these flowers. That's so cute. So for the soup, I'm gonna put this in the sink, I think is the best way to do it. like warm not like facing do I like that actually I'm gonna pour this back into the pot now and then combine it again I opened this coffee and now I finished the soup um so I wonder if it looks so good Obviously, I'm gonna put some nutritional yeast on top. Hey guys, such a weird angle because it's like below me, but I'm gonna eat my soup. I'm gonna watch The Bachelor. Watch The Bachelor because it started yesterday. Bachelor is going really well. Really interesting so far. Decided to make some edamame. Finish my bowl of soup. And I put the rest away. I'm the kind of person who like can't just have something like not like solid like i have to be able to chew something always especially if i'm watching something like i love to eat while i watch tv it's like a hobby i think it's not a moment can we talk about what i look like right now good morning it is like 9 a.m i've been up for a while but just on my phone i'm feeling good just have a runny nose i'm feeling like trying to do a full workout today that's like intense because I just want to. My journal here. January. Wait. Yeah. All right, we get up, get dressed. I just feel so freaking good. It's like 10 something now. I've been in bed, but gonna work out now. Going down to get my Celsius. I'm back from my walk slash run. Literally felt amazing. Had such a good run. I like couldn't stop running. Like I was just really feeling it. So cool. Having this poppy. I'm going to get in the shower and then start baking some cookies. So that's exciting. Cheers. Let's go get clean because I'm sweaty. Mess. All right. I'm showered and clean. Smell good. Thank God, it smelled so bad before. My dad is going to the eye doctor right now, so I'm gonna hop him. I'm gonna give him a list of some ingredients that I need for the green flatbread. That way, in case I have COVID, I will have the ingredients and can make it at home. I still don't know my results, which is so annoying. My manager is like trying to get me to go to work today, which like doesn't make sense, but yeah. Um, so if it's negative, I mean, I'll go to work but still waiting. So I'm gonna go downstairs, figure out, I've already figured out what I need, but I'm just gonna make sure again, like look through everything. And then when he comes back, I can start baking. I think I'm going to just do some stuff on my computer. Maybe come up with some video ideas. I have like a few I'm thinking about, but like some of my goals for this year include like really focusing on YouTube and Instagram. So I'm trying to dedicate time where I plan like three videos. That way like every week if I'm planning three videos, I'll like always be so ahead. I actually came up with some ideas that I'm really excited about. Yeah, like some fun videos planned. This is literally a hot dog with mustard. It's so good. This might be my weirdest like food combo. Literally the best thing in the world. So my dad just got home with this stuff and it's a little dark now. So I'm debating if I should just, okay. So I'm debating if I should just make these tomorrow because I want it to be light. I'm gonna make like half the recipe in this vlog and then half the recipe for an Instagram reel. So I want it to be light, at least for the reel. So why not just make them all tomorrow? 
So I'm gonna do that. But in other news, I just got an email from my doctor and my test is negative. So I don't have COVID. Last day and a half has been really interesting, but don't have COVID, which is amazing. So that's exciting. I think I'm gonna go to work now because I'm supposed to be working and was gonna take today off, obviously, since I didn't have my results, but I'm gonna go now. I guess I will continue this vlog when I get home. I'm gonna go change right now quickly, get ready to go. I'm like so happy. I feel so good that knowing that I don't have COVID is amazing. I'm glad you guys got to experience that with me. Good morning world. Super sunny. Just finished my workout. Did a really good full body sweaty workout. Like I actually sweat so much. Also my eyes like still have like a rash a little bit from eating nuts. I'm not allowed to eat them anymore. So New Year's was sort of my like last weekend. I got really sick like the next day and then I ate more the next day and the next day and then I got a really bad rash on my chest and my eyes are still a little red. So gotta go back to not eating them, which is sad, but that's okay. I'm still trying to figure out like substitutions for nuts, like actually eating nuts. I don't really care about nut butter. It's more as a snack. I feel great. Still a little bit of a runny nose, but I don't have COVID, so that's good. Um, on my walk today with no mask on, even though there's like pretty much no people around, I still wanted to wear a mask just in case, like when people walk by, just to be extra safe. So now I feel good. I obviously didn't get to do the cookies yesterday, so that is my number one priority today. I'm going to say bye to one of my friends who's going to school tomorrow, so we're getting coffee this morning in about an hour, so I'm gonna go on a really short dog run walk. I have 30 minutes, because then I have to go home, shower, and then drive to her. Oh my God. Wait, I have to leave at nine, not be home at nine. Okay, well, I have like 15 minutes, so yeah. I'm gonna go on a super short run right now literally have 10 minutes before I have to be back home. So yeah, <laughs> did not plan that well. All right guys, I am on my way. I feel like a wet rat, like my hair is so wet, but I was like so late, left like 10 minutes later than I wanted to. I'm so excited to get out of right now. Like it's been a minute. I am on my way home now. So now it is time to make some cookies. I'm so excited. I'm gonna first, I think, film a reel of it so I can post it on Instagram. And then I'm gonna film it for the vlog. So then you guys can have the recipe here too, which is exciting, but also check out the reel. I'll post it, I think, the same day. The cookies are so good. It's the tahini chocolate chip cookies. And then I will still make the green flatbread soon. That will be my next recipe. All the ingredients, so I'll make it this weekend and like film it for you guys. I'm home. I have my recipe here. Okay guys, so I just filmed the cookie reel. Here are all the things. I literally can't stop eating these chocolate chips. And um, the batter is so good. They're in the oven right now. I don't think you can see them, but they're on the top shelf. Can you stop eating these because I need to save them for the next bath? <laughs> these? My favorite chocolate chips. They're so good. Some dairy chicken. And then some edamame. This is what I'm eating right now. And then I'll show you guys the cookies when they're ready. They smell so yummy. Um. Mm. Hey guys. Welcome back to me cooking. Sorry, it's so messy. I just like literally just made the cookies. Let's make them round too. I think you're so crooked, but we're just gonna keep you like that. Things first, you wanna make your flax egg. Half a tablespoon of flax seeds, and then one and a half tablespoons of warm water. So I'm just gonna put that in right now. And then mix that, and we're just gonna let that sit. One fourth of a cup of tahini. So this is just sesame seeds mine is like completely like plain unsweetened that's good enough one fourth cup 
Then we're gonna take an eighth cup of maple syrup. Also, mine is sugar-free, so yeah, just in case you wanted to know that. Tablespoon of coconut sugar. So this is my coconut sugar. One. Like rock hard. So excuse me. One tablespoon. Just mix that all up, and you're gonna get this like caramely looking substance. Okay. I don't know if you guys know this, but the recipes that I like share with you guys on my like reels also, they're all like recipes that I made up. So I don't really know how I had this flour, but I was making cookies for Passover. So if you don't know, you can't have wheat. So this is quinoa flour, you can have quinoa. So I made these for Passover. But anyway, you're gonna take an eighth cup of that. And then I eat oats on Passover. I know people don't but you can always either just use um, almond flour or just more quinoa flour, that's fine. A half a tablespoon, one fourth teaspoon of baking soda, and then one fourth teaspoon of salt, one half teaspoon of vanilla. So here's the vanilla, pour that in, and then you just mix this all together. And now you add your toppings. Obviously, I'm doing the chocolate chips. Put a little bit more. But that is what it looks like. Okay. Obviously, make them whatever size like you want them. I actually really like having smaller cookies. They're just like more fun to eat, I think. So I tend to scoop everything a little smaller. But do what you prefer, obviously. And then this could go in anywhere from like 10 to 15 minutes. It really just depends. I'll start with like 12 minutes and then go up from there and see. Also super tempted to try one of these. So this one's kind of funky looking. So I'll try this one. Cheers. They're so good. They're like so fluffy and like chewy, like in the right way. Like, I don't know. Highly recommend. Okay, let's take these guys out. Let's check on them at least. So weird, they look so different than the other ones. <laughs> I think I'm gonna give them some more time, but what? Like, they look so different. I want a plate for my reel. These are new dishes, they're so cute. Just put some. having a photo shoot with my cookies but i totally forgot about the ones that are still in the oven so <laughs> gotta check on these guys now i'm sure they're like definitely done i mean they're not terrible looking like they don't look the same as the other ones it's like really weird but oh well so i made them both the same way obviously you can see things happen nothing's perfect so Keep that in mind when you're making yours. <laughs> Just because I think this is so funny. This is the same recipe. Like, wait, I'm gonna put these like side by side so you can see and then show you. Like, literally made them like 10 minutes apart. Same recipe, same measurements and everything. So, look. Like, these are the same cookies. I don't really know. But. All right, guys, I just got home from work. Going to film an outro for this video. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Little few days in my life. Started off thinking I had COVID. Thankfully, I didn't, don't, and I'm well and healthy now. It was an interesting couple days, so, so yeah. And then also, I hope you guys like the cookie recipe. So I'm like getting like, um, I'm like doing my like nighttime routine as we go because I want to go eat some food. But um, I hope you guys liked it. If you make the cookies, please let me know. I want to see pictures. I want to know if you like them. Honestly, they're like so freaking good. So um, I highly, highly recommend. I don't even put fake makeup on. I'm not sure why I'm wiping my face. It's like all in my eyes, always. Okay. My little, I do my skincare like after I 
um, eat and stuff normally right before I go to bed. So I'm just gonna leave it at that. I have some fun ones that I filmed that I have coming out for all of January, half the weeks planned. So I'm super excited for this to come out. Make sure you check out my Instagram. I'm working on growing it a lot and making it a really good outlet for me to represent myself and sort of like a personal blog type page. So I'm really posting things that I like, what I do in a day, like in pictures, doing some short vlogs now and making a bunch of reels, which has been so much fun. So made a reel of the cookies, obviously, if you want to see that recipe actually in like a fun video, make sure you check it out. I'll link it down below. And I love you all. Have the best Wednesday. And then also, I am going to start doing like recipes, I think, weekly. So I will be posting a second video, maybe starting next week. We'll see. I'm not 100% sure yet. Just figuring out logistics and timing. But stay tuned for that. I am excited. And I will see you guys so soon. Have the best day. Love you all.